Hello beautiful people, how are you doing today? Hope you all are in best of your health and fantabulous as always and as I always want you to be. So today, again in self-love series, I'm back with a new topic um, to raise your vibration because it increases your self-love, it enhances your power of self-healing also. So yesterday we discussed about power of silence and today I'll discuss about power of prayers. So it has been proven scientifically and uh, I'll just I just want to show you one book which is Power versus Force. It's been written by David Hawkins, Dr. David Hawkins and this book has been written after 30 years of research work. I would strongly recommend each and every person on this planet to read this book um, and this should be compulsory in our schools and colleges. Uh, because in this book, it's mentioned about how our life is governed by uh, non-physical forces much more than the physical world outside. And that non-physical world which is around us creates our physical reality. So in a nutshell, I'll just explain you. There are certain frequencies and there are levels of consciousness. So on an average, a human being's consciousness uh, keeps on decreasing after the person is born uh, keeps on decreasing because of external factors which are affecting their vibrations a child is born with 500 consciousness and uh, all the external factors keeps on affecting his vibrations because child's aura and vibrations are very sensitive towards outside vibrations just like a new young plant and in this book it's written that even if person wants or tries to raise their vibration an average human life can raise only 2 hertz um, or 2% of their vibration. However, prayers have power to raise a vibration from 100 to 125 hertz, which is too much. And if you, are, if you have read this book, if you will read this book and your consciousness will reach uh, to 35%, it will enhance to 35%, which is way 7 times or 14 times more than which you can raise in a normal human life, right? So that is the power of prayer. And even they have mentioned about power of silence. In this, it's mentioned about Lord Krishna's consciousness, Lord Buddha's consciousness. And as we all know, uh, Buddha was a king, right? When he started his journey towards divinity. And Buddha's, uh, Lord Buddha, now he became Lord Buddha, uh, Buddha stayed in silence for almost 12 years. I'm sure some of you must be knowing, but many of you must not be knowing. Buddha stayed in silence for 12 years and only meditated, meditated, meditated on himself. And his consciousness has merged in divine consciousness. Yes, it has raised to 1000, my dear friends. So when you raise your consciousness, your consciousness of acceptance will increase. That's That will increase your self-love consciousness. I will, I can vouch on this because I have stayed in silence. I have stayed uh, in silence doing prayers. And those who have seen me even two months back or even few months back, uh, there was a lot of changes which happened in my body after staying in silence which happened in my appearance, it's back to normal. I know I used to look like this, but two months back, I, if someone will see, I was not like this. So my hair, skin texture, everything is coming back. So I have regained my consciousness, my dear friends. That's why we have power to heal and power to raise our consciousness and power to raise our vibrations only with the power of self-love. And if we really want to do that, so today's tip is power of prayer and as in my previous videos i told you you can create your own prayers also because prayers have only positive words so if you are praying something bad for someone that is not a positive prayer because that prayer is involving someone's bad and as it's mentioned in sukhmani sahib Sagal Samagri Jaka Tana that means this whole world is in is a divinity's body 
this is a body of divine so if we are thinking about any bad to anyone or if we want to harm anyone we are moving towards violence even in our thoughts so which is not a positive prayer and it affects our own body mind and soul so power of prayer is even if you want to meditate uh, that i love myself this is also a prayer that's it even if you keep on saying that i love myself you will discover true love within yourself you will not be able to say even bad word for anyone so that's what power of prayer and power of silence do will do so uh, next power we'll discuss tomorrow and keep on practicing silence keep on practicing your prayers so thank you so much for listening to me and keep loving yourself love you all bye bye take care